And so, like the conversations I have with Sean Shelby and, and Joshua Fabia, where Sean is saying how, you know, he he wants to cut me and Dana White, you know, said I could fight another fight. And there's, there's so much to the story, you know, that you, the people, my fans that love me, my fans that are um, sending me messages telling me how they pray for me, how they care for me, and how they they think that uh, my manager is 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 bamboozling me and, and 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 just using me. And so, if this was the case, I wouldn't be sticking by his side, having his back. In the truth of the whole matter is, me and him having each other's back against a billion dollar monopoly worldwide organization yeah when you bring awareness and you bring light to some of the issues within the organization of a billion dollar corporation yes red flags are gonna are, are gonna be are gonna rise and there's been a lot of red flags and there's a lot of things that that are, are not right about the industry and uh, why do I have the experience to, and, and the words to speak on this? Because I lived it. My, my entire adult life, I've been with the UFC chasing this dream, taking punches, eating kicks, and shitting elbows for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. <laughs>